Have you ever wondered why the smartphone in your pocket today is more powerful than a supercomputer from the late 20th century? The answer lies in an observation made over five decades ago by a man named Gordon Moore. In 1965, Gordon Moore, then the research and development director at Fairchild Semiconductor, predicted an interesting trend in the world of technology. He noticed that the number of transistors and resistors on computer chips was doubling almost every year, a phenomenon that he foresaw would continue for at least the next decade. Little did he know, his prediction would stand the test of time and come to be known as Moore's Law. Output Moore's Law isn't a law of physics but an empirical observation that has held true for over half a century. It's a simple yet profound statement. The number of components on a chip and hence the computing power doubles approximately every two years. This exponential growth has been a guiding force, not just in the semiconductor industry, but also in shaping the landscape of modern computing. So what does this law mean for us? It means that the power of computing is growing at a breakneck pace. It's why we've gone from room-sized computers to pocket-sized smartphones in a few short decades. It's why technology continues to become faster, smaller, and more efficient. The status of Moore's Law has been a contentious topic in recent years. Notably, NVIDIA's CEO, Jensen Huang, declared Moore's Law dead on September 21, 2022, following the launch of the high-priced RTX 4090. Huang pointed to the end of the era where the number of transistors on a chip could double every couple of years without significant cost increases, a core tenet of Moore's Law. Despite such declarations, the sentiment isn't unanimous across the tech industry. On September 27, 2022, upon the announcement of Intel's 2023 more affordable graphic card series and the launch of the ARC A770 GPU, Intel's CEO Pat Gelsinger was of the opposite view and declares that Moore's Law is not dead in reference to the comment made by NVIDIA CEO just one week earlier. Gelsinger even stood in front of a slide about its full production pipeline of various chips, stating, Moore's Law, alive and well. He added, we will continue to be the stewards of Moore's Law. But is this really the end or just the beginning of a new chapter? Facing these challenges, the tech industry is exploring new and innovative ways to keep Moore's Law alive. From quantum computing to nanotechnology, the future of computing is anything but certain. Yet one thing remains clear. The spirit of Moore's Law, the relentless pursuit of progress, is here to stay. In conclusion, Moore's Law continues to shape our world in ways we could have never imagined. It's an observation, a prediction, and a challenge all rolled into one. It's a testament to human ingenuity and our endless quest for advancement. And as we stand on the cusp of yet another technological revolution, one can't help but wonder, what's next? Stay ahead. Stay informed. Stay relevant.